Fishing News is brought to you by Navionics, Okuma, Yozuri, Evinrude, Lama Glass, and the Star Island Yacht Club in Montauk, New York. Hey there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast for New England. Well, just did a little poking around out here today. Took some time to uh, see what I could find. Hit a couple shore spots, looking for some small schoolies. I'll get to that in a minute. But first and foremost, I want to direct you to a news story that I posted last week, uh, breaking down what took place at the ASMC meeting, specifically in regards to striped bass. It's posted right now at thefisherman.com. I'm still seeing incorrect info being spread online in regards to the 2020 regulations and circle hooks. And basically, in short, what was decided last week, the ASMC set a one fish bag limit with a slot limit of 28 to 35 inches for the o ocean fishery. So that means it would have to be between 28 and 35 inches in order to harvest the fish. Anything under that, anything over that would have to be released. Um, that's again just the ocean fishery, that's just the waters outside the Chesapeake Bay. If you want to see what's going on inside the Chesapeake Bay, check out the news story. Most of our subscribers here to the uh, video obviously fish the ocean. So got all the info, but just talking about the ocean side right now. However, that is not 100% set in stone. Um, states have until November 30th to submit alternate regulations so long as they meet the 18% reduction. Then once they're submitted, the technical committee is gonna get a chance to review them, take a look at whatever the state submitted, and then it's gonna actually be decided on and made official at the February meeting coming up in the spring. So it, it, in a way, yeah, the slot is in place right now, but it's not hard and fast because states have the opportunity to propose conservation equivalency measures. Uh, again, broken down on the, in the news story, but that is where we stand right now. Circle hook side of things. Uh, yes, circle hooks are going to be required beginning with the 2021 season. Only, however, when anglers are using bait for striped bass. Now, the details, the specifics still got to get hashed out. We got until 2021 for this to go into effect. I've been seeing some craziness, people saying, oh, you're going to have to put circle hooks on your plugs. Uh, you're not. Uh, it just so much misinformation being passed. Nothing on that is hard, hard and fast. States might implement it only for private anglers, such as up in Massachusetts. It's required for 2020 in mass already, uh, but they only have it for private anglers. If you're on a four hire boat or if you're a commercial fisherman, you don't have to use circle hooks 2020, but that might change. Uh, the states are gonna look at it, figure out how they wanna implement it. It gives time both to figure it out, to put angler education out there, as well as for nothing else, tackle shocks to get the right inventory in place. Cause you don't want that, uh, you don't wanna have to use uh, circle hooks with bait, go to the tackle shop and then don't have anything that's compliant. So it gives time for everything to get squared away. But again, if you wanna see exactly what happened in regards to striped bass, check out the news item that I posted. It's right now available at thefisherman.com. If you got any questions, of course, feel free, drop those questions in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to answer any of those questions. I took a few questions last week and answered those for people. So give it a look. All right, that is out of the way. Now we're gonna get into some of the fishing reports. As you're gonna see, once again, it's mostly about blackfish this week, tatog, whatever you wanna call them. So I'm gonna get to the striped bass to begin with. Um, overall, things have been kinda slowish, uh, you wanna call it that, in the surf. Um, there's fish to that mid 30 inch class, roughly up in the canal. Once you get outside of the canal, for the most part, from what I'm hearing, you're gonna have a tough time breaking 30 inches with more pushing closer to that 20, 22, maybe 24 inch range, at least in the surf. Um, boat guys, I mean, they're still running to some fish, but everybody's just worrying about uh, blackfish once you get out in the boat. Not a whole lot of guys I'm talking to anyway that are still targeting striped bass. Um, I was out uh, over the weekend, did some fishing with my son. We started poking around some of the little tidal rivers like we've got here that I'm standing at today. Uh, and it was loaded with small fish. Also some hickory shad, even saw a couple of really big white perch land. And now this is a sure sign to me that unfortunately the end is near. Um, but that doesn't mean you're only gonna get small fish out there right now. It happens so often that you'll be into a string of schoolies night after night, three, four, five outings with just some little fish, and then you will just luck into a pod of mega bass, move into your spot. You got them for one night, maybe two, if you're really lucky, three nights. Um, but you can make the whole season on that one night. So still worth getting out there. I plan to be out this weekend in the wetsuit so long as the uh, uh, winds aren't too bad, but uh, give it a shot, see what you find. And also up on the Cape, the uh, bluefin tuna bite is still going. I mean, that is just, 
that's right up there with porgies this year for not wanting to quit but nonetheless captain john of fish chatham charter has been getting out i know he had a few fish this week at a 68 inch or 71 inch lots of those sub uh 30 73 inch recreational class fish john said he's still going to be fishing a bunch he's got a handful of open spots available for uh, tuna cod or even combo tuna and cod so you can give him a buzz 508-237-7210 uh captain john a1 uh, uh, boat right there you're gonna have a good time fishing with it and i'm sure you're gonna get into some fish all right there you go now we're going to jump into those blackfish reports there's a lot of it uh, i'm just going to touch upon a few start off in connecticut got an email from jeffrey downs he had a good sized blackfish over the weekend in long island sound um, that's where i was fishing this weekend went out uh, out of clinton for a couple hours sunday morning before i got onto the reports and uh, fished clinton area started out deep on the reefs there must have been 30 35 boats around we picked away at a couple of keepers a lot of shorts but i mean it, it, it's to be expected with that many boats a lot of those bigger fish are picked off already once the tide switched move in shallow water started to clean up a bit a bit fish the walls continue the same action uh, bounced around a few times put some hermit crabs to good use that I had found last week that was I'd have to say that was the key on the day was putting those hermit crabs uh, down uh, greens and Asians were producing fish but oh my god when that when that hermit hit the bottom those blackfish did not hesitate so if you can get yourself uh, get your hands on some hermits definitely give it a shot uh, let's see what else up in Rhode Island a bite seems to be a little bit better for bigger fish anyway um, uh, Alan Sheriff was uh, fishing with the guys from Soundbound uh, they went off a of Newport on Monday uh, had some really good results he said that they had a full boat limit by 1130 and they were throwing back anything over eight pounds including a ten and a half pounder so real cool uh, throwing those big fish back congrats to everybody out on that trip uh, let's see also, um, uh, TJ Kopecki, he checked in this week. Sent me a report via email. He wasn't able to uh, shoot a video for us, but no problem. Enjoy getting the message from him nonetheless. He confirms there's still a good tog bite he's been having in the Warren and Barrington Rivers. Um, he's been throwing green crabs, he said Saturday and Sunday, on the incoming tides. Uh, green crabs on the Asylum jigs were the ticket. Got a handful of keepers for the day. He also said... There's still some striped bass around, but they're definitely starting to thin out in the rivers. Um, but he got word of a slightly better bite up um, Newport around Brenton Reef. So there's some good fish pushing down that way. Um, let's see, Cindy Reeves sent me an email of an 18-inch tog landed by Garrett Krisnuek while he was fishing off of Cape Cod. She didn't give me any of the details on the catch, but I've been receiving some pretty solid reports throughout Buzzards Bay, um, up around Martha's Vineyard, and even Nantucket. Basically, those are good rock piles out there right now. It's got some blackfish. Water temperatures are still uh, on the warm-ish side, so this bite should continue for some time. Also on Monday, Heard from the guys over at Snug Harbor Marina. Um, they said that the, the island current had an absolutely slammer trip on Monday. They had uh, multiple 11 pound blackfish, a 12 pounder, and a 13 pounder on the day. They were on quite the rock pile. Uh, Francis Fleet also had some double digits over the weekend. And just saw a, a picture just before I headed out to shoot the report. Seven Bs had a couple of really big blackfish. So you know what? This just might be the time. If you don't have the private boat, or even if you do, just hop on one of those party boats. It's a great option to get in on some awesome black fishing. And speaking of party boats, last up here, Captain Greg and the Blackhawk has been, uh, he started running those combo trips that he does every time this year. This is where they spend part of the tide fishing for sea bass and part of the time fishing for blackfish. Depends on uh, how the bite's going based on the tide and so on, but it's a great double, you know, twofer when you get out there, especially fishing around Block Island. But they're not just getting sea bass and blackfish. They've gotten, uh, they've been getting much more cod mixed in, some big porgies, and even the occasional big winter flounder. Like this one landed by 12-year-old Brandon M from Vernon, Connecticut over the weekend. That's really cool to see big uh, winter flounder like that mixed in. All right, well, there you have it. There's a lot going on. As always, if you plan to head out and fish this weekend, be sure to start off your trip by visiting thefisherman.com. Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evan Rood, Lowrance Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2019 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details now at thefisherman.com.